seeing things through the God lens or seeing things as God sees them sometimes allows us to see things that we're not expected to see and things that may not always be pleasant, but God does so in order to protect us or in order to protect the work of God. We're going to talk about that today in Encouraging Word. Welcome. Uh, this is a brief daily word of encouragement from the Bible. My name is Dave. I'm so glad you've joined us today. You know, God wants to direct us and guide us and sometimes he allows us to see things that we would not be nor would not normally be able to see with our own eyes or with our own discernment or with our own figuring out. It's called spiritual discernment and it's meant to protect us. In Acts chapter 8, we read the story of uh, an incredible event that happened in Samaria where many people are coming to know Christ as Savior uh, and Peter and John are sent there. The Bible says in verse 15 that when they arrived, they prayed for the new believers that they might receive the Holy Spirit. This had not been happening up until this point. So Peter and John are sent there to pray for these new believers that they might receive what we call the baptism of the Holy Spirit. This had not been happening yet. And so in verse 17 says, Then Peter and John placed their hands on them, and they received the Holy Spirit. An incredible event taking place. Uh, this is a pretty significant event. And apparently it was very noticeable because a man by the name of Simon saw what was happening, and he too wanted to have this ability to lay hands on people, pray for people, so that they might receive the Spirit. And uh, apparently this man was a new believer in Jesus, uh, he was pretty enthusiastic. It must have been. He seems legit in a way. I mean, who wouldn't want to have the ability to pray for people to receive the Spirit? But Peter saw things very differently. And Peter responds to the man's request in this way. He says, may your money perish with you because you thought you could buy the gift of God with money. You have no part or share in this ministry because your heart is not right before God. Repent of this wickedness, wickedness and pray to the Lord in the hope that he may forgive you for having such a thought in your heart. For I see that you are full of bitterness and captive to sin. Notice that Peter is able to see into the man's heart and he's able to discern several things here that he could not see with his eyes or just know on his own well-being. He says, your heart is not right before God. Simon could see that Simon, uh, Peter could see that Simon's heart was not right. Then he says, I see that you are full of bitterness and captive to sin. And he says as well, he says, you have such an evil thought in your heart. Again, we cannot see how people think in their hearts or in their minds, but God can, God knows. And Peter had seen Simon through a God lens and he saw some pretty ugly things. Uh, and but notice here that Peter offers hope. He says, repent and pray so that you can be forgiven of these things that you have in your heart. You know, there is no way that Peter could have known what Simon's thoughts were unless the Lord told him. Uh, but it was not just enough to know how Simon was thinking. The information is given so that Simon can repent and find healing in his heart. And in fact, we do read that Simon does repent and he asks for prayer. You know, sometimes God lets other people see things that they could not know on their own. We call it discernment of spirits. And it's not just for information, but rather it's so that people can repent and find forgiveness. In James chapter 4, uh, the writer says, When you pray, you do not receive because you ask with wrong motives that you may spend on what you get on your pleasures. You know, we don't always know what a person's motives are, but God always does. And he knows our heart. And sometimes he lets us see the heart of another person. Uh, and sometimes he even lets us see our own hearts. Uh, I pray that you will continually look at life through the lens of God. See things as God sees them. God wants to direct your steps. Even today, God wants you to know his will. God wants to direct you and guide you. And he will as we seek his heart, as we seek to see things as he sees them. And I pray that that's what you will do today. Let's pray together. Father, 
We thank you that you desire so much to lead and direct the steps of your people. Father, your word promises that you will do that. Sometimes you help us to see things that we could not understand or see or know on our own. But God, you want to direct our steps. You want to help us. You want to guide us. You want to protect us in some cases from taking the wrong steps. So Father, I pray for your people today. God, that your Holy Spirit be so real in our lives that we will see through your eyes and we will see others through your eyes. We'll see situations through your eyes, God, that we will have a heart of God as we go through this life. We pray this in the name of Jesus, our Savior. Amen. Hey, God is so anxious. I shouldn't say anxious, but God so much wants to guide you. He so much wants us to yield to him. He is willing to guide us in every area of life. And we need to know that today. Uh, he doesn't get anxious, but he does want you to know he's in, in one word, the Bible says he's jealous for us. He wants us to know more of his presence and of his uh, uh, work in our lives. So I pray God's blessing upon you today. I pray that you will know the joy of the Lord, which is your strength. Have a great day. God bless.